Italian authorities have locked down the entire country to try to curb the spread of COVID-19. Italy has one of the worst outbreaks outside of mainland China with nearly 10,000 people infected so far. Well, elsewhere in Europe, Madrid is shutting all schools after the number of infected cases in Spain passed 1,200. Poland has also decided to cancel all mass events due to the outbreak. And in Germany, 210 new cases have been reported, taking its total to more than 1,100. Albania and Bulgaria also have their first cases. The European Parliament, meantime, is considering whether to call off this week's plenary session. And for a closer look at the situation in Europe, Oli Barrett joins us live from Paris. Oli, how is Europe responding to this lockdown in Italy? It's been a, a bit of a shock for, for many people. Absolutely, it has in individual countries and individual uh, individuals uh, across the continent and businesses are looking at the Italian situation uh, uh, very closely indeed. We're seeing all sorts of different types of responses. We've seen Austria, for example, uh, close its border with Italy uh, over the outbreak. We've seen uh, companies like British Airways saying that they won't be flying for the foreseeable future to uh, or from uh, Italy. Here in France, certainly uh, measures are being considered along the line. Uh, of what we are seeing in Italy if the outbreak uh, grows more widely here. And we're also seeing individual uh, governments around the uh, European Union and the European continent more widely looking at uh, potential stimulus measures for the economy as uh, a real concern grows about the health of the uh, European economy as a result of COVID-19. So uh, Italy being very closely watched indeed. Yeah, Ali, the Italian model has been described as a lab test of how the virus outbreak can be handled. And the WHO has also praised Italy for its sacrifice. Is there resonance with France and other European countries? Very much so, and, and not least because uh, some of the other European countries, major European economies like France and Germany, are looking at the trajectory of the outbreak in Italy and uh, if effectively expecting that they are only a few days or a week or so perhaps behind Italy in terms of the number of cases that we have seen there. They therefore may have to respond in a similar way to the Italian government uh, at a point in a not too distant into the future. So Italy very much being closely watched from that point of view. Uh, at, at the same time, there are some differences in policy around uh, Europe which are worth exploring as well. Uh, for example, sports has been effectively cancelled uh, in Italy, but in the UK, um, uh, the UK government is currently saying that it doesn't believe uh, that cancelling things uh, like Premier League football matches is the right way to go at this point, because the scientific advice in the UK is that actually um, those events aren't a particularly, uh, a, a particularly likely place for coronavirus to spread more than it would uh, anywhere else. So there are some differences in European uh, policy responses as well as those similarities too. Mm. On the point of stimulus, Oli, uh, you know, many businesses are going to be looking forward to this one. And France's finance minister said that Europe needs to come up with a massive economic stimulus to cope with this. But what kind of numbers could we be looking at? Well, I think we're looking at some uh, pretty hefty numbers, and France's view is certainly that this should be a coordinated response from the European Central Bank, but also from European uh, nations and also the European Union itself as well. And we've been hearing some criticism in Brussels today from some MEPs uh, who believe that the European Union should have done more to uh, ease the uh, economic impacts of this outbreak already. Now, uh, France is talking about uh, the European Central Bank taking some action, perhaps injecting liquidity in the coming days, but we're also seeing uh, governments doing what they can uh, domestically too. Ireland, for example, has outlined a stimulus package today worth around $3 billion, doing things like boosting uh, sickness payments uh, and benefit payments as well, uh, giving support to businesses, small businesses in particular that are going to be impacted by uh, customers staying at home uh, and things like that. So there are individual governments uh, putting plans in place, uh, but certainly the view here in France is that there should also be a major uh, coordinated and concerted response. Oli, thank you very much for that update. That was Oli Barrett there coming to us live from Paris.